Hi, I'm Kevin Oslowski with C3 Controls. There are certain components form the core of modern control systems. One such important component used in many applications is the electronic timer relay. In this video, we will start by understanding some of the basics of electronic timer relays or ETRs. First, what are electronic timer relays? Well, a relay is an electromagnetic switch that operates on a small electric current. These switches are used to turn on or off a circuit of higher amperage. When electricity is applied, the electromagnetic coil causes the armature to move, opening or closing the contact to control the flow of electricity of a high current source connected to the load side of the relay. Relays act as bridges that activate larger currents using smaller ones. This allows you to use a relay to safely switch on and off devices that require these higher currents. Electronic timing relay has circuitry integrated into it, which controls the armature motion when input voltage is applied. This addition gives the relay the property of time-delayed actuation. Electronic timing relays are constructed to delay armature motion when the coil is energized, de-energized, or both. ETRs provide a wide range of selectable functions so that users can customize their specific machine operation. What are some of the features to look for electronic timing relays? Well, DIN rail or panel mounting, resistant to mechanical shock and vibration, the ability to set the timer anywhere between 0.05 seconds and 10 hours, extremely compact dimensions between 17.5 and 22.5 millimeters, timing functions such as on delay, off delay, and interval delay. Electronic timing relay is used in a number of applications such as a multifunction timer, which allows users to adjust between multiple timing functions, high cycle duty applications, power factor metering and correction, frequency control applications, to name just a few. Let's talk about the functions on the relay. There are a number of functions that can be selected using the function selector on the electronic timing relay. Let's talk about a few of those functions and their typical applications. A few of them are on delay. With on delay operation, the timer receives an input and then the output signal is sent by switching the timer contacts after a set time delay. This name is used because there's a delay between when the input signal is received or turns on and when the output signal is actuated. On delay operation is the operating mode most often used for automated machines. A good simple example is a push button for a crosswalk. When you push the button for a walk signal, the signal light changes from don't walk to walk after a delay. Off delay. Now with off delay operation, the output turns on at the same time as the input, and then the output turns off when the timer contacts open after the set time has expired. Set time is calculated from when the timer input turns off. This name is used because there's a delay between when the input turns off and when the output turns off. For example, when you open or close your garage door, the ceiling light turns on. The light remains lit for a few minutes after you open or close the door. Interval. With interval operation, the output turns on at the same time as the input, and the output turns off after a set time. An example would be a self-service car wash. The car watch operates for five minutes after your money's inserted. These are just a few of the dozens of timer functions available. So where are electronic timing relays used in factories? The several functions and features of this critical component make an important element in a wide range of applications. Some of the most common applications for these devices are conveyor lines, discrete automation, process control, lighting, food and beverage packaging, and general machine automation. So, what are the most important things to consider before buying an electronic time relay for your application? Make sure to choose relays that are CE and UL listed, as you can use them anywhere in the world. Electrical ratings and product certifications are usually on the housing for easy reference. Timing accuracy. The timing relay must have good accuracy to deliver accurate control performance. IP20 guards. Protect against accidental contact with live parts. It is recommended that select relays have multi-voltage capability meaning that they are capable of accepting a wide range of input supply voltages. This helps you reduce inventory. And finally, check the markings on the relay. Are they clearly visible? Make sure the RRs will help you with wiring, insulation, and troubleshooting, along with reducing overall downtime. We here at C3 Controls hope this information provided in this video helped you better understand electronic timing relays and helps you in making the right selection for your application requirements. To download the companion white paper and to find other white papers, go to c3controls.com forward slash blog. Thank you for watching and have a great day from C3Controls.